Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome to After Above. Today we are going to be representing the original gangster, the OG, the master of ceremonies, uh, the original naked baby, it's Isaac. Welcome him to the stage in the burning basement. Uh, one alk. <laughs> I don't like that, it's a good sound. One alk, jut. That sounds like an animal, at least the elk does, you know, the majestic elk. It's kind of like an elk, but it's a little bit more hulky, maybe a green elk. Snakes, Josh, rage, termites. That just sounds like I'm in for a horrible experience. Now, I know a few of you guys haven't been liking the time permanently up and the items on the left of the screen. So what I was going to suggest, and by was going to suggest, I mean I am going to suggest this right now. Would you prefer it if I alternated it on and off each episode? That way people who like it get it, and also people who don't like it have runs that don't have it. I feel like that's the fairest compromise. I assumed the lemon flies, that are definitely lemon flies, died in one hit to Isaac's base damage, but apparently I was wrong. I feel betrayed on so many levels. A whole seven. Oh, I'm sorry I wouldn't get anything out of that pot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's not quite close enough. I, okay, over here. No, 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 no. I need to, I need to herd you. I need to herd you. Yes? Yeah, no. Oh, what is up? Who's the man? I'm the man. That's how you use a suiciding explosive thing filled with weird flies and lumps. That is how you do it. I mean, I realize that was very basic, but allow me to be proud of myself. It's like a three-year-old who did a drawing that's actually recognizable for the first time, and I'm very much enjoying the experience. Don't you judge me! And if I actually knew how, I would be doing triple clicks with my finger right now, but let me tell you a shameful secret. I don't know how to click my fingers. I just do like a... Like a, bleh. I can't, I just, I can't even do an example because no noise comes out. I was actually trying to verbally convey the sound of silence. Which I guess I could easily do by just not making a noise, now that I think about it. Do I want poison bombs? See, the thing is, poison bombs are fine. They, they are genuinely fine. It's just, would I prefer to re-roll them? Boom! Ah, uh, uh, mm, yeah, strangle from behind is not really that good. I should probably explain that, because it just occurred to me that anybody that is new, and by the way, there are quite a few new people, so thank you very much for choosing to watch my afterbirth videos, it means a lot, but I should probably explain the strangle from behind thing. It's basically a, ooh, triple shot. I'll get triple shot at the cost of a whole heart. There we go. Triple shot will definitely do it. See, I think it's, I've not had a triple shot afterbirth run, and with the new afterbirth synergies, kind of optimistic I am. I feel like we could get something pretty neat. Oh, how cool is that? It perfectly split in time to kill the two flies as they burst out. That is great. So what I mean is when someone's talking and they're trying to remember something mid-sentence and they go, <gasps> Okay, that room looked a lot more terrifying than initially I thought. Also, I'm on half a heart. Also, I'm on half a heart. Sorry, I already said that, but I feel like it needs emphasizing that I am on half a heart. Okay. It's all right. He's not going to make it to me. That's fine. Can please one of these have a freaking... Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll kill the fires. I really, 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 really would like some health drop. That's a pill. It's a full health pill. Boom. Bomb's a key. That's actually really bad. That kind of sucks a lot, in fact. That's that's not good. Actually, it might be good, because I might get a secret room that is uh, just fantabulous. All right. Here we go. This is it right here. Secret room. Boom. Oh, life. La it's, it's life, but uh, not as we know it. So, when someone's trying to remember something mid-sentence, and they're like, you know that thing the other day when I was like, ah! That is my theory, that a ghost is now strangling them. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, world! <laughs> Guys, we're not gonna die! We're gonna live! We're gonna grow old and have Isaacinian babies that are then gonna have to go through the cycle. I love the theory that Isaac is Isaac's dad. Not in terms of time travel, but he grows up, meets a woman, becomes Isaac's dad, leaves, and his kids become the new Isaac in the new basement in the same house. It's very complicated. But yeah, that's the str- oh my god. Who's suddenly very happy that we found some health? Uh, raise your hand! Ooh, 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 me! Uh, you need to die, and so do you. Alright, fortunately, it's normal haunt, so this shouldn't be 
too difficult, assuming we don't get unlucky with uh, the moves he tries to use and when. I feel like it's very much a sort of roulette lottery fighting the haunt because he, he's, there's no way of really predicting when he's going to do all of his annoying things. Oh, there we go. That was actually very, very nice. And this item's okay, Crackjack. And we actually get Lucky Rock, which potentially might come in very handy. So for now, let us move on with our lives. See, I really want to have a powerful run. I want to see what this blue womb is like. I want to kill the hush, which I assume I have to do for the blue womb. Ooh, uh, I don't want to die. But I died. I died. I, I did die. But, the, you know, the good side is we just got a load of money... And also, you know, we've got a trap door, which may end up being wonderful. And it's... Wow, that is quite possibly one of the worst trap doors I've ever seen. I feel like the only way that could have been worse is something like the Butter Bean was there instead of that free money. Because the free money is tangibly more useful than the Butter Bean. But most of all... Yeah, most of all, I hate the items you choose. Bum, butter, bum. Oh, we're good. We're good. He should have a key. And that's a heart. That is good. We're doing well, guys. We're doing well. Well, we're not doing fantastic, but we're doing okay. And that's really the important thing at this stage. And we just got a key for the item room. So, actually, I take that back. We are doing all right. From, we don't have a bomb, which kind of sucks because uh, tinted rock magic is going on. Also, I feel like I did take damage to those explosives because I know I did, which upsets our devil deal chances. Having a battery is nice. But I need to kind of move it out of the way. There we go. Because I don't want to accidentally guarantee get it if I don't need it. Because I want to get maximum charge out of these rooms. Okay, item. Abel. I think... Oh, Abel into Kane's eye. <laughs> oh, game. That's funny. That's... Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I see. We're playing one of these games, are we? Oh, that's... Oh, you, you're such a card after birth. You are such a card. What do you like? What do you like? I really I don't really actually need to deal with these fires because they can't fire fast enough to get me. Could really do with finding a couple bombs that oh wow. That was ironic. They can't fire fast enough to get me. Immediately fires fast enough to get me as I walk into a fly. I'm getting a lot of keys, which is great, don't get me wrong, but distinct lack of bombs and a distinct lack of quality items. Oh, it's time for He actually is called Dangle! That's the first time I've seen his name! There is actually Dingle and Dangle! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm taking credit for that. I know, honestly, Edmund has no idea who I am, and in no way is that from me Dingle Dangling, but I don't care. I am choosing to 100% believe that this is called Dangle because of the Dingle Dangles. I, and nothing you can say or do will convince me otherwise. I mean, granted, it makes a lot of sense because obviously you Dingle, then you Dangle. I mean, that's the, that's the word that comes to it. It's not like I'm some super genius for coming up with that, but shut up, okay? I'm so happy that it's called Dangle that we can now both Dingle and Dangle in the same room if we got two separate bosses at once. I mean, it's just it's just so exciting. It's really... I'm just so happy right now. I'm just so happy. Like, really, genuinely. Oh, I'm so pla- Ah, son of a bitch. The final one got me, but we actually just got a damage up and tears from that experimental treatment. That's one of the best experimental treatments I think I've ever had. And you know me, guys. I've had a lot of experimental treatment performed on me. The doctors have been trying tirelessly to fix me. Right. We might actually get another D6 reroll, which we need because that item room is is actually a joke. Is that too... Oh, no, this is the shop. I'm going to go in, obviously. we got enough money. Boomerang and another battery. So we have two whole attempts at making the scissors not suck. Isaac, I believe. I mean, obviously, I really want a new afterbirth attack synergy. So then I can triple attack it and we can really enjoy ourselves and just, you know, merrily frolic gaily through the fields. But it's just not going to happen, is it? Oh. I mean, thanks very much, my friend. I'll, I'll definitely open that and get a free Mask of Infamy. I mean, I would probably occasionally re-roll it. Can you do another bomb, please? I need you to do another bomb. Now, that's that's a terrible place for that bomb. Can you maybe over here? No? Yep, there we go. That'll do. No, 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 no. I need, a, I need a better bomb. No, don't die yet. I need to use your bombs, please. Over here. Yes, thank you very much. I'll claim that key real quick. That's, that's lovely. Now, if you could come over here, please. Uh, can you bomb this one for me? Yes, maybe, 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 maybe you're not, no? No, all right, I guess we'll just kill you. That's fine, I can use one of my own. Go on, you don't have to do all the work then, Greed. I'll let you off this once. 
I do like having the lucky rock. That's very useful to have such a ridiculous amount of money. I did have a quick look in here, right? I did! Go me! I'm excited. So I suggest that the secret room is actually here. I mean, I might be wrong, but no, no, there it is. Awesome. Awesome! And uh, regret. So much, so much instant regret. Like, really a lot of it. But we do have two tinted rocks to claim, which is nice. Want to get maximum rockage for maximum money? Lucky rock. I, honestly, I don't have many lucky rock runs, but every time I do have it, I'm really happy to. So I suppose that's... Oh! They stack now! And look at my tears! They're actually really good! Triple and quad! Oh, I j um, um. <laughs> that is so good. I am so freaking happy right now. Like, legitimately, that is fantastic. I couldn't have asked for a better item if I'd been allowed to choose what item I got. That is just wonderful. Oh my word. Now all we need is 2020 and we can add two more and just, oh, the potential, the potential for this run has just skyrocketed. We can now get some incredible synergies. Imagine finding brimstone and having a seven beam brimstone. Seven, seven beams. That's a lot of beams. Oh, it's just like a massive ray of shotgun deliciousness. I'm just so happy right now. All right, where we at? Oh, God, this. I hate this so much. Well, I actually got through that pretty easily. I know I'm leaving the odd thing behind, but I just... I am so confident that this run is going to be baller that I don't want to have to be like, Oh, no boss rush. Or, oh, no hush. Actually, I feel like you have to basically choose. If you do the boss rush, you can't really do the hush because uh, you won't get to it in time unless you are so powerful that you basically one-shot every wave of the boss rush, in which case, you know, maybe. I'm actually finding the boss pretty early on. I mean, to be fair, I can't just do the boss. I'm going to have a perfect reroll, and I highly doubt whatever the boss is is going to stand up to seven shots here. Yeah, look, look at me go. In fact, I actually have kind of too many shots because <laughs> not all of them uh, can hit. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Down you go. A little Chad. I'm sorry. Actually, we're going to get little Chad. Although he is a little Chad now, so I suppose that is true. And boom. Oh, we do get our double deal. I'm going to save the reroll for him because he's not that good. All right, if we get Krampus's head, then we suddenly have something to re-roll. If we get Lump of Coal, then I will, of course, take it. I hate his brimstone so much. All right, so we do have ourselves a Devil Deal re-roll. Good old Devil Deal re-rolls, and boom. Yeah, I'll take a free Abaddon. Not only do we get a free Abaddon, we also don't have to give up on Angel Rooms. I am, of course, going to save until we get Chad to reroll little Chad, especially now that he is completely and utterly useless. So the item room is going to have to be atrocious for me to reroll that instead of Chaddy over there. Definitely going in the shop, because obviously we are rolling in money and keys, and it would be absurd not to. We'll get the broken stopwatch, and we'll better that battery while it's cheap, and then we'll move on and go reroll little Chad right now, just because I think we'll get enough uh, charges from the floors trying to find the item room to make that okay. I do kind of... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try... Oh, I, I... Ooh, pentagram. That makes me happy. Would you believe me if I said I forgot what the button to fire tears was, so I didn't move it next to the chest in order to, uh... In order to get it, would you would you believe me if that if I told you that's what happened there? Because while that did happen, I will accept if a part of you is also like ser seriously, right? Ser seriously, that's wow. I I can't believe I watch you play this game. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks. That really does suck. I do see. The question is, do I save time or do I go try and get a reroll? I honestly think the best thing to do is to save time, just because I really want to get to that hush, and I don't think there'll be enough rooms to get a full re-roll out of it anyway, so I think we're going to have to leave it, because at most, what, we'll get free for, and that's not that good. All right, this time, let's... Okay, way too many tears. That's that's just not... Actually, I've got so many hearts. What am I doing? I just want this chest so bad. 
And that's kind of worth it. We get three more keys, but I would have preferred, obviously, Cricket's head. Either way, I'm going to make the executive choice to try and power through and end up with uh, some hush action over here. Just because, I mean, look at this. And what I don't understand is why Quad Shot hasn't drastically reduced our tiers. We're still kind of fine. So maybe it was only Triple that actually got affected by it. Oh, imagine if we get spooky tiers or, like, ghost tiers. Did my tiers just reflect off that zombie? It really genuinely looked like my tears just reflected off that zombie, but how would that happen? Tears don't reflect off zombies. Obviously, that was tactical damage to clear that room as quickly as possible. I don't know what you're talking about. How? I mean, what else would it be? Come on now. And, of course, I want this chest. That was very, very lame. We're going to find the boss again, aren't we? I'm having a very bad habit of finding all the right rooms, but in all the wrong order. Which does suck kind of really much. Yep, look, there it is. Pop. You shouldn't have popped. You shouldn't have popped, but you did have a key, so I'll let you off. And then, boom. Alright, so we'll definitely just quickly do our boss. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Look at that. The, just the array of tears that were firing. Oh, that was, that was supposed to be a really fantastic dodge, and then I completely messed it up. So, maybe. Ooh, I'll definitely take the damage and the range up. That is good. That kind of sucks. Gonna re-roll, and... Honestly, again, I'm not too bothered. I really do want some angel rooms. I've not had any good angel rooms since Afterbirth. So, I mean, while I could take goat heads to guarantee me future rooms, ironically, it would guarantee me only devil, which is uh, not something I subscribe to at the moment. Mainly because we've got a really good setup and we don't need especially any devil dealage. Obviously, something like Brimstone was there or Death Scythes, you know, something that would make this seven array of tiers even more spectacular would have taken it in a heartbeat. But as it currently stands, I don't think it's desperately something that we need. Oh, we get money out of uh, mushrooms with that. I didn't actually realize. I thought it was just rocks because, you know, that does make sense. Wow, we have got so much money this run. That's probably worth going. That was a very initially... Oh my god! <gasps> yes, we got splash damage on top of a seven shot spread! That is just incredible. That is what we need in our life. That is what we need in our life. There's just there's just nothing. That is that is the omega and the alpha. That is that is the thousand sun power. Each one of these is just look at that. All right, now if we can just find ourselves some uh, parasite, we are gonna have some fun over here. Yes, we are. That was a little bit stupid. Shouldn't have blown him up so close to me. This was kind of a nice double key room. Definitely been worse. Judgment, don't care about you. Bombs of keys. That is something I don't care about either. Hey, found my... Oh, I kind of assumed all of them would go down, so I just walked forward. Ah, the D4. That's a shame. Really have no use for the D4. So, we either hopefully get a charge on this room, because hopefully it will extend to another room. Or we're kind of buggered on another item. Though, then again, Cricket's body, I would totally accept as my item for this floor anyway. So, that's not that bad. And we get... Hey, it was! It was! How you doing, it was? That's pretty good, it was, yes! It was. Can only imagine it was uh, as part of a like a gang, definitely. Like, oh look, it's Elwaz. They'll send Elwaz after you. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Not Elwaz. And you know, shenanigans ensue after that. I don't know what any of them. All right, yeah, we'll move on. I probably could go to the shop and get a battery, but I'm just very conscious of the time. I got to get to the hush within 30 minutes, and I'm still only on Necro One. And we've just got Curse of the I don't know what the hell is going on, which is obviously a big issue. Ah, God, that magazine is so pointless. Hey, up! Oh, you're going to get destroyed. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you kindly. Would you kindly kill yourself? There we go. I mean, context probably is relevant there, but who needs context? We don't need no silly context in our lives. Nothing's fun with context. God, this is so good. I'm so happy right now. A true afterbirth possible synergy. I kind of wanted the tinted rock, so I got it. Actually worked out. Nice. And we got plenty of health. I like just so, so much health. Pop, pop. 
<laughs> I mean, it's basically piercing tears at this stage, isn't it? Just because we are so many splashing around. So I really want the parasite, and I really want bouncing tears, and then I will be just so happy and content with this synergy. You don't even know. Ah, that's all right. But I do. Ooh, new fly. Obsessed fan follows my every move. Okay. So I assume he just goes exactly where I go and does contact damage to anything he passes through. Hey, the portal hole. All right, short cutter. One there, one there. Up in, and then you pop out. Look, there you go. It's really, to be fair, it is a really, really cool item. So it's, it, do I re-roll it actually? No, I think I save it because it will re-roll from the shop pool and I'd rather save it for a potential boss drop or devil deal or angel room re-roll. And that's a dead end. I actually somehow kind of just decided that definitely for Shizzle, the boss is just at the end of this. But I suppose it's good that we went that way because we at least got to clear up the item room. I can see this fly being kind of useful. Yeah, it's, you know, you can't really aim him. He just, he just does what he does. But I, I mean, I'll reserve judgment till I see how much damage he actually ends up doing. That's the main thing, of course. There's normally a tinted rock in this room. Yeah, this has got to be one of my biggest tinted rock rooms, like 100%. There always seems to be one on the left. Though how we haven't had greed yet is actually absurd. Like, we really should have had greed by now. And doors, 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 doors. Please, I need the boss so bad. We are definitely not getting the boss rush, but that's okay. We can deal with no boss rush. The boss rush is absolutely bonkers. Like, just, oh my god. I don't even think this is overpowered enough for the boss rush. That's how, that's how serious business the boss rush is. And explosions. Good old explosions. Please give me the boss. I need it. Oh, I need... Don't push the bomb out the way. I spent a lot of time, hard work, and effort on acquiring that bomb. And that zombie was just like, No! Tinted rock! No! And he, he gave up his half-sludgy life to try and save that rock. I mean, it's almost poetic what that zombie and that rock meant to each other. The story of the zombie and the... Hey! How you doing? The story of the zombie and the rock is... Quite a serious one. It's a classic tale told throughout the ages of star-crossed lovers and what they do. And that item is really cool. It is. And it would also mean my shots get times 2 to 14. But only while I'm stood on top of him. And that's just not practical. So again, I would rather just re-roll this. And honestly, a little bit of damage up is fine. The more, the merrier. Okay, onwards we go. And yeah, normally I would take that just to see it. But I'm still somehow relying on an angel room. I'm just, I'm still believing, okay? And I realize maybe I should stop believing, but that's not how the song lyrics go, damn it. It don't stop believing, okay? Yeah, I missed that, I missed that coin. Actually, no, I want that coin. You know, I feel like if this was really you in uh, the basement, you wouldn't just walk away from a coin the size of your fist. I mean, is it even legal tender? Because these are big coins. I don't know, I've never, never actually pondered this before, but these don't seem like real money. I mean, it's supposed to be real money, but they are like the size of Isaac's hand. And if they're actually made out of any sort of precious metal, wow, what a curse room. If they're actually made out of any sort of precious metals, they are worth clearly more than one cent apiece. Like, he should just escape the basement after getting, what, five of them? Sell them on and just live a happy, comfortable life as a rich Isaac Baron. I and mean, that seems like the sensible thing to do here. I, I feel like Isaac's just got his priorities wrong, really. He could definitely be a Baron. I kind of want a character in the game called the Baron now. He just sounds like he'd be really badass. I don't know what items he'd have. I mean, what, what would you give the Baron to start with? What would be his starting items and what would his stats be? I feel like he'd be... I feel like he should start with the Pokeball so he captures... People. I think that would make sense. That'd be pretty neat. Spiders. Don't care about the spiders. That's absolutely fine. There we go. See, I don't have to do much in the way of aiming when you're firing this many shots. Uh, Robo Baby. Don't care. Mom's Perfume. Don't really care either. So I'll go for a reroll from this shop. Ooh, chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Go on then. Let's chaos it up. Let's mix up all the item pools. And we actually got just a D6, which is great, because now we can go into here and immediately re-roll it into the D20, which is ironically what it also was. It's kind of... I mean, I'm not sure I like that that happened, but I do appreciate the irony in it happening. All right, let's keep our passage going on. I think I will use the... Pa in fact, there's not really ever a good place to skip a floor, because you miss out on potential really good stuff, so I'm not entirely sure. 
Ah, uh, couldn't I actually go to the hush and then skip? Would that count as beating him? Probably wouldn't, would it? Oh, imagine if these were shielded tears. I just realized. If these were shielded tears, the hush would be the easiest boss fight of my life. Oh, that is that is good to think about. I really want shielded tears. And as we can now get any item from any pool, thanks to chaos, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go try and get a reroll, because I definitely think we can do both room floors in around seven minutes, especially when we are no longer looking for specific rooms and just basically wanting the boss and then to get out. I actually don't think we're going to get a reroll. That kind of sucks. We kind of could use item matter or something along those lines, but it's just, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Oh, uh, he's like, uh, uh, stop it. Ow, ow, stop. Why do you keep doing that? I don't, ow. <laughs> poor chub, poor, poor chub. All right, I'm just going to kill all of you. I mean, I am chaos now, so I got to, I got to respect that. What are you? One makes you larger. Well, that kind of sucks. Infested. Infested. I love the question mark infested as well. I. What is that? You feel cursed. Curse of the tower. Please don't tell me I'm going to randomly fill rooms with bombs every now and then now. Because if that's true, I'm a little bit upset. Uh, I could technically have gone back and re-rolled it if it was any other floor than the mum fight where I'm locked into the boss room. At least I'm going to have a re-roll for potential devil dealage. I got that going for me, but that kind of sucks. It's a shame we got to give up on yeah another item. That's actually free item rooms we've basically just not got use out of, which normally would be kind of fine. It's just in this instance, we're kind of struggling. We are kind of struggling. Along we go. Hello and mother. If that is your real mother, that's a lot of damage per hit. That is really a lot of damage. I'm so happy we found Cricket's body. Like, that is just absurd. Look how quickly we're killing her. Boom. Really? We don't get a devil deal? But I just, I don't, we had such a high chance to get a devil deal. That's so sad. That is so sad. Well... I guess we just gotta move on with our lives. We can at least re-roll the next floor. But there is still a big part of me that just wants to kind of skip it. Though I'm happy that the Curse of the Tower hasn't done anything horrible yet. I'll just get out of that room, because obviously I'm trying to save time here. I want to see if I can. Yep, I think I found... Guys, I think I found what the Curse of the Tower does look. I, have, I, think, I've, I, I think I've identified it using my Sherlock incredible perception that's going on here. Come on, I don't care about any of you. Let me on, let me progress. Nope, just get splatted, get splatted, get splatted. This is just ridiculous. Come on, come on. Splat, splat. How did he not die from one splat? I feel robbed. Oh, it takes two splats each. Two splats each. Ain't nobody got time for two splats each. Come on, pop up. There you go. Also pop up in time to get a double kill. No double kill, but I will get the curse room. Ooh, Joker? Two of diamonds. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so excited that I get to do so much. Still gonna keep the passage, just in case. But actually, it only goes downwards, doesn't it? Or they might have changed it so you can also go upwards with passage. I'm not actually sure. Don't care about either of you two. Wouldn't care about this room. I really hope we do get a slowed hush. That I do. I, I would totally accept killing the hush because he was slowed. I, he's just, he's such a brutal boss that I will take every goddamn advantage I can freaking get here. Alright, so the thing is, the boss drop's gonna be exciting because it could be literally any item in the game. That's the awesome thing about Chaos. Invested! Ah, I see how that works now. A up, death! Normally we'd be expecting a cube of meat, but as it currently stands, we could be expecting damn near everything as Curse of the Tower happens. Oh, wow, we actually do just get the... Seriously? Se seriously, can I can I not get to the angel room? Well, I'm going to get the cube of meat, and then I'm going to... see. Yeah, that's... Wow! And I couldn't go back out and back in, because it might cancel the angel room. That's so upsetting! I Could I have done anything there? I feel like I just got robbed. Like, genuinely, I feel like I just got robbed. I'm so upset. I, I just... I physically couldn't get to the angel room. Which is why I took the cube of meat, just to have some sort of accidental defense against tears, which is what I need if I plan on fighting the hush. But, wow, that's so, so, so sad. Did he actually manage to just protect the fly the entire way there? Because that's kind of insane if he did. 
No, no camo for you. Although that is terrible camo. You're just making a blurry patch on the ground, which is obviously where you are. I don't know who I don't know who is teaching camo to these guys, but they really need to improve their lessons. He's basically just dunked himself in a pot of grey coloured paint. Sorry, light brown paint. I, I know my colours, don't worry about it. Are you going to be a better one? Purity. We'll do that. Get our health back. Grab ourselves a spirit heart. Is that nine freaking lives? Oh, I just realised. Chaos. That makes this room incredible. Ooh. Okay. Thing is, I don't think I want nine lives. Just because, you know, we're, we're, we're not getting guppy. We'll definitely get the tears up from the dolly there. And then we'll re-roll those three. Because they could literally be anything. Uh, the HP up doesn't matter too much. I could get that fly. I'm going to get that fly. Lost fly. Do I... Why is it constantly... Oh, look, we got a secret room. That's kind of convenient. And another random item, a sack of pennies. Doesn't really matter, but I've got enough reroll targets that I'm okay with it. No point damaging myself for a HP up, just removes permanent Polaroid. And Mongo Baby's not a brilliant investment either for health, so I'll just accept that. Oh, I see, it's buttons. Actually, very easy buttons. And they detach, which is kind of cool. I honestly would be fine if that room, they didn't even turn off once you press the buttons, that just opened the doors, so you still have to get to the exit when that happens. I swear there was a third Polyphemus. Oh, does he go out the, like, the extre extremities of the room, so he kills anything, like the spiders and stuff that would crawl on the walls? That's kind of cool, I'm just, I'm not sure it's that useful. I mainly picked up the fly just so I could get closer to Lord of the Flies and therefore flying, which is obviously incredibly convenient. Splat, splat, ah, damn. Oh god, more, more tower curse. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that as an item. I mean, in a lot of ways, it is kind of useful to just be able to get a ridiculous amount of bombs firing all the time. Like, in this room, it would definitely be a concern. But I think, in the general sense, it's actually probably a more positive than not item, I would say. I also want to blow that up so I can get the tinted rock. Oh wow, nothing good out of that tinted rock. Barely even worth my effort picking it up. And there we have our boss. Awesome. So yeah, scarred room, here we go. Here it lives. Kind of fired the wrong direction. That's kind of awkward, really. And splat, splat, and we're good. Ow, we are not good. I take it all so far back. And there we go. Pop. All right, so we have a minute remaining. We have a minute remaining before that closes. It's not like a time thing, is it? It's okay. It's not like a one time only. So basically, I'm going to use this minute to go back to that room with all the items in and then re-roll their asses, hope for something good, and then, I guess, leave. Okay, I'm going to kill this room just because now I'm going to have to go back through it anyway and it's just going to be slower than killing it normally. And we got a spirit hat and a super secret room with a black heart in. I mean, when you got it, you got it. 20 seconds. Can I physically make it there and back in 40 seconds? I don't actually know. I'm going to do this because I think it will ultimately save time to cut across like this. Reroll those two. All right, we'll definitely take damage for the tears and the shot speed up. I don't care about nine lives because, you know, if you can't kill the hush on your total amount of health, you're not killing him on nine attempts of one health. I have definitely confirmed that. Just seriously, it has been painful. 15, 10 seconds? Oh my god. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. That was close. That was freaking close. <laughs> wow. All right. Time for some extra items, which is nice, and some chaos going on. Let's open up these. Annoyingly, you don't get items from these, really. See, I don't think that's worth me taking, because it just means I don't get invincibility every time I take damage. Open. Ooh, that's a hard choice. I mean, I have a lot of damage, so I think I would rather, honestly, have the Angel Baby's protection from all the tears that I'm going to have to deal with. I genuinely think that is the better choice here. And then this one, well, not much of a choice, but I'm going to the shop first, just in case there is a battery for me to have. Getting the Pact is phenomenal. Like, that is really good. An extra heart. Oh, we got the Demon Transformation! That is excellent! Look at it, like the Safulu weird demon transformation. 48 hour energy, mother truckers! This just gives me a big opportunity with these two items. Ooh, the mind is nice, but it doesn't help me kill the mush. The mush? Yeah, the mush! Imagine if his name was the mush! Oh, alright, boom. 
Neither of those two help either, so I think for now then, we're going to go with this and uh, have whatever whatever it happens to re-roll into, the better of the two. Boom. Wow, that's a shame. I mean, granted, the mind is still the lead runner on what I would have liked there, but I was really hoping for something. But I guess Fanny Pack is the way we're going. That's all right. I still don't want that. And yeah, I guess we are ready to attempt the hush for the first time in a normal run on video. There we go. All right. Splat, splat, splat. The room slowed. The room is actually slowed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing shall stand before me. Not even slowed hush. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. He's still got quite the tears. Wow, look at that. And look at this. It's like I'm trying to fire as many back at him as he's firing at me. That's quite ridiculous. He's actually still a ridiculous boss, even while slowed down. Look at this. That is absurd. Boom, boom, boom. I want to kill you all. Boom, boom, boom. The hushing and them all. That was kind of cool. He came up and immediately took damage from all those tears. All right. This should be fine. Wow. It's quite the army of flies in my face. Why are they not dying? Why must they not die? Yeah, imagine, genuinely. Oh, come on. That was cool. Look at me timing it to walk through the wave of tears with the angel baby and the cube of meat. Kind of proud of myself for that one. And he's just big enough that all seven shots are actually just affecting him, which is just wonderful. I should be okay here just because he's kind of not affecting me in any way. And these flies shouldn't be that big of a problem. They kind of just fire like a ring of lasers. Guys, I think somehow we might have just done it. Oh, the tears that are randomly coming in from the sides, the ones that are normally, like, really glowy, the infinity tears that he has, are just not even making it to the center of the room. That is excellent. That is excellent. This is probably one of the easiest hush fights I'll ever have. And pop, pop, pop. Though, the thing is, look how much damage I'm doing as the tower happens. But the... Like, I'm still taking so long to kill him, despite me having such a ridiculous, powerful setup. That's kind of insane. Like, genuinely, that is kind of ridiculous that he could even be that strong. Also, oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is this? Alright, we're going to be invincible for a while, so I can at least... Uh, just move on. Hush, if you don't mind, um, can you pop up, please? That would be lovely. I mean, I'd really, really appreciate if you could just pop up real quick. That'd be nice. Nope, back down. What, what are you doing? Calm down. Oh, yeah, this one. The, uh, that is always terrifying. That is always terrifying. Don't do it again. You don't need to do it again. It's absolutely fine. The fly that goes around the outside of the room is just like, I'm just going to keep doing my job. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going around the outside. And don't don't you worry, Isaac. I'll kill anything that comes around the outside. You just you just keep finding fighting that, that absolutely terrifying thing. That's like absolutely okay. You just you just keep on trucking. You just you just keep going. That's absolutely don't worry about me. That's I'll just Oh my god, this is so terrifying. I I am really useless though. Like holy crap. Like that is just ridiculous. And there he goes. Uh, boom, but a boom. So we have got Fart Baby. Really? That's what we get? We get freaking Fart Baby? I don't know about you guys, but I am mad. Ooh, is this a new ending for beating the Hush? Missing. Is this like the end of the run? Or is this the first mid-run cutscene? Alright, so Mother's checking out the chest. God, what's she like? And there's flies in it. An Isaac Skeleton. Oh, so that's after everything happens. She finally finds Isaac, who locked himself in the chest and died. She finds his bones. And now Isaac is in, like, limbo. Popped out the chest. And there's his shadow. And that's the... Is it either the angel or Hush? Or just a demon? Okay. That's quite ridiculous. That is really ridiculous. Fart Baby has appeared in the basement. Oh, good. So there we go. That was my hush ending. So that's it. Wow. What a run. That was awesome with the massive spread of tears we had. It really was. All right, then, guys. So I guess for now, my name has been Rage. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this and subscribe for more. Oh, good boy. <laughs> yes. You